Hello and welcome back to day two of the Verizon Game Changers Academy brought to you by Gallerants in association with AM Labs. I'm Becky, joined here by Nari Mizuki. Oh, I think I'm saying that right. It's um, enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm doing, doing my best here. Names are not my strong suit. I'm doing my best. And how do you feel after watching that first game versus final of final form versus aim punch? Honestly, a little worried. Uh, mostly because that was final form's map pick, and they oh. weren't able to close out on their own map. Now, as we move on to Haven, this is going to be Aim Punch's map pick. Now, of course, that does mean that Final Form has the advantage of picking which side they start on, but how much of an advantage that's going to be remains to be seen. There's a lot of question marks here, and it's going to be really rough going because you've got to think, I mean, this was chosen by Aim Punch as their map for a reason. Yeah, I, I think there's at least something to be said for the fact that these are both such old maps that regardless of whose map pick it is, like, maybe you're just hoping that, like, oh, since it's old, we both have our different strategies. And I think, like, considering that was the case for the last map, the person who picked the map wasn't the team that ended up winning. There is something that can certainly be said for that sort of strategy. And I think if you're a fan of Final Form, you're hoping that they come with a plan for Haven. And uh, so far with some quick lock-ins and a little bit of a change up on agents here, Blush, instead of going for something like the KO is going for something like the Sky and Sophia is switching off of that Killjoy on to the chamber. How do you feel about Final Form's uh, agent select composition? Fairly standard. Uh, I quite like it. I think the KO could still get a lot of value here, but I do understand why they're opting into the sky instead. We'll see mm -hmm. if they do get the, uh, the the full potential out of that one. I was going to say I was kind of hoping to see if some of these teams have started toying with the neon because I know a lot of the a lot of teams recently have been kind of playing with her on Haven, but unfortunately for us anyway, it seems we're going to go with a little bit more tried and tested. The big question mark here is going to be Kaz, who's on the Astra and we had mentioned you know oh, she's had a little bit of a nerve she isn't played nearly as often these days and there is still some value to be gained from playing her particularly as like a, a bit of a deterrent for trying to stop maybe really aggressive plays but for the most part her kit has been uh, lowered to a very very minimal uh, efficacy and it's going to be quite difficult to get the maximum value out of it and then of course you know, we talk about the the chamber changes hollywood mm -hmm. swapping off of the the chamber i, I said chamber i meant sentinel uh, mm -hmm. swapping off of the chamber onto the cypher and it, okay. this goes beyond stylistic right mm -hmm. killjoy versus cypher very stylistic killjoy versus chamber you're changing a lot about your style of play. You're changing a lot about what your composition is attempting to achieve. I mentioned how the chamber, uh, chamber versus Cypher is a little like chamber versus Killjoy. Chamber needs mm -hmm. a lot of resources from the team. Cypher, eh, not so much. We've seen some phenomenal Cyphers completely hold down all on their own without much help. So I'm very interested to see how they're going to play this one. Oh, I'm extremely excited. Cypher is one of my favorite agents that just kind of gets slept on and it sometimes picked on this site. So I'm excited to see exactly what Hollywood is going to bring to the table after an impressive performance on Chamber in the previous game. Excited to see some enticing things on Cypher. I love this immediate quick, just dash onto this B site, plant, and then hold back really far. We talked about like when we were explaining map picks that we didn't really think that B site was a site, but Aim Punch is saying, you know what? We think it is, at least for these early rounds, and we're able to identify where the bomb is and hold back really far defensively after planting. And so far, I mean, aside from being blocked off by this dark cover, but KDO being able to go for something like those shock darts that two were bought going into this round is doing a ton of damage and Aim Punch showing up with a fast B site plant to start us off in this game. I have so many questions about that round. It, look, fair enough. Kudos to Aim Punch for making that work because, like, so often that just does not go well. That 
plant the spike, pull back, go for a post-plant setup, very often just does not get results. But I think the fact that Final Form were on pistols, that's the perfect moment to try to make that work in your favor. Uh, and of course, they still had shock darts available. They had a little bit of that post-plant utility to use, and they're able to leverage that into a round win. So yeah, well done on making that work. Our final yeah. form on what is their second pistol round going very Ooh, aggressive out of mid hollywood's waiting oh. no <gasps> again hollywood is doing the exact same play that we saw on the previous map too is gonna get cut out there by spite who is also in a little bit of a wiggly a situation is gonna get rewarded by being able to pick up that bulldog and aim punch saying you know what you think you're gonna we're gonna be going to a we're gonna book it all the way to b this is a lot of cardio for all these agents on this map so far I love how we just went like full circle, it, very literally. Uh, start moving towards A, move all the way through the defender spawn, and A, actually, we're going C. Um, and well, Spike, despite having picked up, uh, what is that, a stinger? Oof, mm -hmm. okay. Got a little bit of firepower to work with, but it's not ideal. Spike's already been planted, and this is probably gonna be clean up. Oh, Spike has a bulldog. Oh. Oh, I mean, I, I'm a personal fan of the Bulldog, and Hollywood must be too, because well, Hollywood purchased uh, the Bulldog in the second round of this map as well as the previous map, so kind of a big fan and uh, almost did good things for Spite as well, but not quite. Is going to be able to uh, have some sticky situations for Genuine and Hollywood going into this round, as they oh, were the two nice to have died on the previous round, but... Kaz, KDO, and Suarte able to keep those specters and KDO buying up a bulldog as well. I personally like the bulldog. I think that it is a fine gun. I think a lot of people sleep on it. It certainly is obviously not as good as a phantom, phantom ever, or a vandal, but for the amount that it costs less, I think that it packs the punch that you want it to need and is a little bit easier to spray with than a guardian, so it allows for an interesting cheaper gun by Suarte getting into an interesting spot picks up two with the specter just spraying through people and now is going to be able to do a little bit of an up gun upgrade there and is kind of hunting for blush there oh okay thankfully as a jet you uh, don't have to worry about that drop I guess and that is going to equate to aim punch being able to get this bomb down on this a site nice little turn of the head there from sophia to avoid getting too blinded and now is slowly trying to figure out exactly where to go onto this site followed up by spite oh here mark. who is going to do a paranoia to create a little bit of space does blind and save sophia from being killed immediately but is not gonna allow for them to take a point off of aim punch Okay, so I'm definitely understanding why this was Aim Punch's map pick. They get away with murder on that round. They come into that on a very broken bonus. Only three players actually were able to bonus up from the previous round, and then two kind of stuck on pistols. That was a full rifle for final form, and somehow Suarte is able to get two kills in connector. She's, she's one against three. She gets two kills with the Spectre, forces the third back, and that gives the rest of the team time to get into position. I mean, this is a massive misplay from final form. Now they're back down onto pistols, and somehow have to turn this back around. I think that we're likely only going to see things happen from round five. And oh, Kaz is oh, on flank watch. <laughs> oh, and it's a, it's a flank watch of all five of them is able to get three. Oh my gosh. And Hollywood not being too far behind finishes off the final two. Wow. A, a very quick round. Yep. To be expected. Kind of uh, rinsed through there. Get those first early kills because they're all just kind of pushing out of sea long yep and that's pretty much what final form needed to do they needed to get that round over with that's why they kind of five stack their way through this they need to get the round over with they need to get guns back in their hands they need to not make those same mistakes again because that previous round they're definitely kicking themselves about that one now charles is brought up into the op <laughs> she's posted up towards B because she's expecting a potential play there. The Cosmic Divide comes out on C and they haven't even started rotating yet. 
Oh, yeah. Nobody is even holding on to that site. So it looks like Aim Punch just get to run onto it and get this plant pretty much for free here. Kaz is going to be the one to place the bomb. Cosmic Divide is going to keep them back for a little bit here, but is about to fall. And now Chell's able to see exactly if anyone is going to peek out. But it looks like the side of Aim Punch have decided... Oh no, uh, yeah. yep, okay, uh, caught with the bird out a little bit there as Genuine goes down to Chells, who is now aggressing onto the site with that operator, but uh, after a few shots, it is going to be made known that Trademark is going to catch out Hollywood in Garage, but I mean, it doesn't matter if nobody's able to see you through a smoke, and Hollywood and KDO just clean up house and bring Aim Punch to 5-0, to zero. this is certain, I mean, okay, so when we were talking about, like, who was picking what maps, I was like, sure, Final Perform picked the last one and they lost, like, it happens, whatever, these maps are all old, people come prepared, but now seeing that this was Aim Punch's map pick and how they are 5-0, and oh, I, I'm starting to turn around, like, at least the last map was back and forth, uh, this one just so far is, Aim Punch just seems near flawless on this map. I don't know how Final Form come back into this now after that. They've still got some ultimates, and of course, oh, they've popped both the Bladestorm and the Twitter Force here. I mean, that's two massive ultimates, and sometimes, I mean, usually you use one of them on an eco round to invest both of them. If they don't lose this round, despite it being an eco, it's still pretty expensive. Mm hmm and Chell's not able to find anyone quite yet, and you always have to expect that that Cypher is going to be watching the flank, and we do see Hollywood is there doing that, and it looks like as a result, Chell's is just going to say, all right, final form, let's all as five get ready to just push this, and considering that this is also, as you mentioned, a save around for the side of final form, that does seem like a smart way to start it off, waiting for that dark cover, that paranoia to come out. Chell's is in, and Hollywood, Genuine, and Katie, I just flying up onto the kill feed as final form funnel into the hands of aim punch who are now six to zero okay so i'm starting to understand or maybe not understand maybe this isn't what they were going with but i'm appreciating the name aim punch because i feel like final form has probably been getting whiplash from those rounds <laughs> jeez i would be that's crazy to be struggling that much and again they committed those two ultimates they still lost the round They've got three ults to bring into this one, and okay, yeah, understandable why we're going to be seeing that timeout coming through, because after losing six rounds in a row, the very best that you can hope for at this point is a tied half. And we had that on Ascent, but ugh, given the momentum that Aim Punch have been having, I'm not too sure if Final Form are going to be able to get that tied up half maybe they get two or three rounds if they can kind of pull themselves together a little bit but look at this i mean no one on the team has more than two kills it's just been an yeah. absolute bloodbath from start to finish aim punch have this map so well thought out so well planned it is absolutely clinical how they approach each of these sites and final form looking a little bit disjointed Disjointed indeed, but as you mentioned, we do see Sarah Star with the Hunter's Fury. We kind of talked about the From the Shadows not being the most impactful ultimate, but at least being able to cover a lot of ground on a map like Haven kind of makes it feel a little bit better, but Blush also having those Seekers ready could be something that at least allow them to stave off a little bit of aggression from the side of Aim Punch going into this round. I liked getting that bit of a meeting as well before going into a full buy round. Sarah Star able to ta not tag anyone up there, but is keeping off a little bit of aggression. And I, it seems like Final Form is just dedicating themselves to this idea of if we can hold back the extreme quick aggression that Aim Punch is bringing, we'll at least stay in this long enough to be able to combat them. And so far, they've at least been able to keep the bomb from going down and keep anyone from dying so so far so good this at least playing back and playing extremely safe is kind of going their way but they've left this c site completely open and at least that's one of the easier sites to retake for them but it's still gotta feel pretty bad if aim punch is able to just go onto a site and get a bomb down for free considering how this game has been going 
Well, there is a trap there to try and left. find something if they do push out there, but we had two very early ultimates here from Final Form. Now, look at all of this utility being used in B. It's a bit of a fake to give KD time to get that spike down. So at least they'll have the credits from that. Hollywood is set up into position. Oh, You're wow. kidding me. Oh, Hollywood just not able to go one into two there. It's actually a trade and all this. Uh, oh, okay. So are they able to pick off people as they're coming onto this site for the site of Final Form? Chels is just fighting to keep Final Form into this. Four kills and looking for the final one is going to get that kill on a genuine. And the ace from Chels is going to bring Final Form their first point of this map. All right, Chell's really said, all right, guys, I got this. <laughs> it's, wow, okay. Solid performance there to keep that going, but I think it's important to note that that was very much Chell's being a star performer because mm -hmm. Aim Punch played that round very well. And okay, Hollywood kind of whiffed a couple of shots in Garage, and that's why they were only able to get the one kill, not the two. You know, not being able to one-clip this over that wasn't even looking at you Tiny bit of a misstep there. Final form able to capitalize on that quite nicely. But it's very much Chell stepping up and, mm -hmm. you know, taking control of that round. Can she yeah. do that for another five rounds? Yeah. She might need to if Final Four want to stay in this game. Nice entry there from that Tasmanian Tiger to identify where the trademark is so the Swarte can immediately shoot it down while pushing onto the C site. We've seen Impunch use this attacking strategy before and they're using it again. That Owl Drone, a follow-up, a little animal to get some extra information for the attacking side of Impunch and see a lot of people hanging out towards CCT from the defending side as they're trying to push through these Astral Smokes and get onto this side. Genuine just looking in the wrong place, wrong time, does go down to blush there and Shells is watching from this long angle where you have to expect people are holding out KDO with the Odin once again making things happen but so are Spite and Shells who's able to pick off Kaz and the remaining players between the two of them. It looks alike that meeting that was called has actually done a ton of good for the side of Final Form. That time, keeping two players alive instead of just Chels. Yeah, you, you know, you were kind of saying that the B site, or rather the C site, tends to be a little bit easier for Final Form to retake on, and that's kind of what they've proven here. They've managed to string those two rounds together. Their economy's starting to look a little less broken. So if you're still down on a Spectre here, but that was a far better round than what we'd seen previously. I also want to say that I feel like the Odin isn't necessarily the best pick and maybe you can get a little bit more value if you're just running a regular rifle which we can see kdo has opted into in this round aim punch still have three pretty well two pretty big ultimates and, and a neural theft which could kind of help them to create space but hollywood's on this flank here gonna try to create some noise and maybe catch a rotation if possible because again it's just a full-on c hit Yep, and that from the shadows is gonna see if anyone's hanging out in that cubby and as a result of coming back Hollywood is able to pick off that as well as Sophia. Not what you want to see from a flank and that neural theft is uh, gonna let the side of aim punch know where the remaining final form defenders are. That bomb is just chilling in the middle but you have to expect that everyone from the side of aim punch is hanging out onto the sea long. The blinding light comes out and with that genuine is able to pick up that kill on to Chell's blush trying to hold it down but Hollywood at this interesting angle is just making it so difficult for Final Form to keep up the pressure and aim punch take a point right back. They're quite a bit invested into that. Well, actually, not really. They just use Hunter's Fury. Post plant is strong. Uh, I think they also use the Neural Theft as well. So a little mm -hmm. bit gets thrown into that just to keep them in it. And it works out quite nicely. They're able to swing the momentum back in their favor. And just when Final Form was starting to make something happen with their Econ, they're right back down to basically where they started. Spite's going to be the only one with any sort of firepower here. Maybe they... Yeah, there you go. Bladestorm's going to come out. So they're going to try to pivot off of that if possible but aim punch lose two rounds and they decide oh sorry what were we doing and now they're fixing it 
Suarte trying to get some shots. Should anyone come around that Radiantite box? And it doesn't look like it will be the case. Aldrone trying to figure out where are all the defenders. Find at least a few of them. And with that, Kaz is able to get onto site and get this bomb down. Shots through the smoke and through the wall. And the Genuine's able to finish off Sophia there. Blade Storm finally starting to try to get onto site, but cannot get through the spray coming from Suarte. Kaz finishing off Spite with a Spectre who just can't quite get that distance damage. Oh, wow. Aim punch really not even needing a timeout to read into the changes the final you form had made. Them. I say the changes. I mean, the two rounds the final form won were the C hits. Mm -hmm. And then aim punch were like, maybe we stopped doing that. <laughs> and now it's that little bit more difficult for final form to find a footing. I mean, even now, Spike is still leaning over towards A. It looks like to make a bit of noise towards C. I see a sky and, and a jet there, so maybe they'll have a, a play off of that. The There you go, guiding light's gonna come through. Oh no, Charles. That okay. ruins that play. Oof. Yeah, that was so close to being something that they could really get capitalized for. That Trailblazer okay. is going to take out that tripwire, so not having to worry about that should they want to go for a flank, but there's gonna be another tripwire between the defending side and going for any sort of flank as the immediate rotate does mean that they're trying to get onto this A site once again, but nicely done there by Sophia, who's able to get a headshot quickly onto Aim Punch's duelist and at least stave off some of that onslaught. And now with uh, a few players down, uh. Sophia picks up another one and so does Chels there. Two players remaining for Aim Punch and they know where KDO is hiding at least as Hollywood Falls being traded out there trying to swing out, but swinging out into two is just not going to be good enough. And final form able to capitalize on some of the things that Aim Punch stumbled on that round. Yeah, a couple of misplays there. I, I'm not sure what happened with that Omen smoke where you see one peek out from heaven and there's two players from Aim Punch in the, in the smoke or behind the smoke and then the smoke clears and they're just chilling in the middle of nowhere and so they get mowed down. And I'm not sure if there was a communication issue where they were waiting for another smoke to come in. Maybe the smoke came too late because eventually there was another dark cover that replaced, but it was mm -hmm. too late. You know, at that point they'd already died. So a bit weird there and then they lose two of their forces and at that point, well, yeah, final form have the advantage. They clean it up a little bit. These small misplays, if Aim Punch want to make this a, a solid win, you want to stop making those kinds of mistakes, but Final Form doing really well to capitalize on it. Oh, this is hard because I kind of wish that we were actually seeing Sophia continue to kind of watch through this. I don't like peeking out after, but is in fact going to fall to Suarte there. But Sarah Star with a nice heads up Hunter's Fury able to pick off two from Aim Punch, who every single time they have that cosmic divide up, try to make something like that work. And Hollywood, at least right place, right time, catches Chell's kind of off guard and starts to just wiggle into the enemy lines, picks up a second one on despite there, gets that neural theft and immediately pops it and now is in a 1v2 situation 33 hp but is gonna have trouble peeking makes it a 1v1 situation getting that camera does get shot down and the diffuse is starting to go off it's at least two half and sarah star starts to try to peek and is gonna be able to secure a fourth around before the half for final form say final do really well to read into that because they know exactly Switching what's going to happen once that cosmic mm -hmm. divide comes down and they just push in on that they're like all right cool cosmic divide's going to come down they're going to push into the back of the site uh, and then they're going to plant the spike and hold long from the all the way at the back and so they push in knowing exactly where final form are going to be set up and yes it does come all the way down to the one v one so it got a little touch and go but they're able to win that one out. Sarah Star playing really well. She knows she's got a little bit of wiggle room with the slight amount of cover that Garage affords to her. And to win out the 1v1, well, she eventually does lose it to, uh, to, to Hollywood. So we end up in the 8-4 half. Aim Punch still looking good here. Had a very solid attacking half. They're very close to double digits as well, and that can do so much to break the mental. Now that Final Form have managed to win yet another two rounds in a row, maybe they pick up the pistol, maybe they can get that momentum back. Yeah, being able to pick up a pistol and then a follow-up bonus around into that would be actually huge for them, but uh, not huge for them is Suarte and Hollywood holding down this C site and being able to pick up not just three, pick up 
four and a flawless start for Aim Punch is not how Final Form wanted to start off this new half. You hate to see it. <laughs> Bit of aggression there from Final Form, Aim Punch kind of expecting it and just stop it in its tracks. Amazing. And so, Aim Punch able to force up here, as is the standard. Final form, gonna have a bit of a rough one because, as I mentioned, we were two away from double digits. Now we're just That's one away. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of rooting no. for final form here a little bit. You know, we had such a close match on a Saint, and I really want to see them mount a bit of a comeback. It's just so hard because it was a pretty even back and forth game when we were watching Ascent until we saw Aim Punch move to the defensive side. And then Aim Punch just had a field day. And if it that is any foretelling of their defensive strategies and strengths, then they're just going to be able to have an extremely good showing in this situation as well. But a nice four ball here just trying to funnel into at least taking down as many members of the defensive side as possible does kind of go their way in a 3v3 situation now. And all of the attackers kind of being able to stick together. Shell's not looking in the right direction is making it a little bit rough and trying to come through that Astra smoke means that Kaz just gets to clean up the final three remaining players and Aim Punch will be going into those double digits. Oh, you know, Final Form doing a pretty classic move on Haven when you're on the pistol. You just kind of run it down onto B, get the spike down for the extra bit of credits, and ultimately lose the round because it's B. Uh, it's statistically, fun fact, it is statistically the most, easy, uh, the, the most easily retaken site at 37%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but all of the rest of the sites are at like 25% in like mm -hmm. the whole game. Uh, so, yeah, you're, you're not really expecting to, to be able to hold on to that. Now they've kind of messed up the bonus a little bit. They forced two of the players down onto sheriffs and they'll have rifles of their own. If there was ever a time that they needed to bring it back, it's now. Oh, but Sarah Star getting caught by that blinding light does mean the genuine's able to pick up that vandal. And I like this immediately pivot from final form saying, all right, we lost kind of our person who was watching flank. So we're just gonna swiftly run onto the site following up that paranoia with that dash from shells making sure that that back of site is clear and that bomb is going to at least be able to go down for final form who are now setting up for their post plant okay they've lost one player it's going to make it that little bit more difficult but oh hey that's a lineup i like okay. that you don't usually see the cypher lineups i know Ooh, okay, Chels is in a rough spot, but is still holding it down. Sophia able to pick up two is pretty huge, and all of a sudden Blush and Kaz in this 1v1 situation, and Blush is just holding back as much as possible. That bomb nicely positioned, actually, for this spot, trying to peek out, and it does mean that Blush is able to pick off Kaz, who's trying to hold that bomb down. Final form, half of the points of aim punch, but slowly being able to get back some equity in this game yeah so super important that they're able to you know keep one player alive and win out on that round mm -hmm. uh it's still going to be a bit rough so they went out they get the credits they're still going to be able to somewhat buy into this it's not going to be perfect it's going to be well the best definition of a force uh they're going to spend everything they have to just try to keep in it but with Aim Punch now, I mean, despite losing that round, obviously they had some credits carried over from winning the first two. Enough so that Suerte is going to be chilling on an operator. And I'm very curious to see where she posts herself up. Because at the moment, she seems to be kind of angling towards either A or B. Maybe she goes mm -hmm. up onto that kind of mid-B box. We have seen that uh, Final Form have attempted to go for those rushes onto the B mm -hmm. site when they're at a lower buy. You can actually see them pinging all over the map here. And, and so <laughs> I love to just kind of see where the pings are and try and figure out what their strat is going to be. Um, <laughs> and to see them pinging towards B and Garage, and there's like a ping towards A. So I'm thinking like, okay, there's going to be like maybe a little bit of a split coming through. Mm -hmm. Maybe two towards A, three towards B. Uh, and then push through garage and maybe you end up on C. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm completely off the mark, but it is fun to try and guess. Oh, I totally agree. I love trying to decipher exactly what is happening with all of the pings that happen. And it looks like we are seeing kind of like a really big split. Just trying to go all over the place. Nicely throwing down a shorty. Should that be the choice of a backup gun for this operator from Suarte. 
And it does look like, yeah, this operator is hanging out towards the top of this mid B box. And the attacking side is very spread out right now, but are slowly converging, as you mentioned, towards this garage and B side. Kind of looking to see if they want to go down C long, but going C long seems like a scary situation when you can see that at least somebody has the money for an operator, but I guess if you gotta go for it, you gotta go for it. So it looks like we're doing a little bit of a lurk towards garage, making some noise towards the C site, but considering how far back aim punch is, they're oh. not getting too much. Sophia maybe gets a little too antsy and moves out into that operator. There, that, I think I can tell what that ping meant. Uh, that means operator there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That one you don't have to do too much guessing on. And now they're actually gonna commit to the sides. Okay, they've smoked off length. They're gonna try and shut down that off as long as possible, but Ooh. shock darts are clean. Wow, through the smoke to just like vibe shock darts. Beautifully done there from KDO, who's able to pick off Chell's three attacking members from final form remaining. Suarte is blinded there, and Spite is able to pick up a kill onto Genuine. Oh, KD hopping up to that edge of the window does mean good for one, but not good for two. Hollywood, though, from downtown, able to finish off the final two remaining final four players and giving this defuse over to Suarte. Getting that blade storm ready to be a part of the backup plan with this operator at this jet's hip. Ugh, and you gotta start to wonder, do they even need a backup plan at this point? <laughs> okay, economy's a little bit messy, so it's not gonna be a full buy for aim punch. It's gonna be somewhat of a force up. But they have the advantage because Final Form are on an eco, so it doesn't matter. Way! Uh, a bit of a rough spot here because Aim Punch, if they win this, they're on match point. Final Form, and I mean, they should win this. Okay, we've seen some really, really solid thrifty rounds, but mm -hmm. realistically speaking, this should be an Aim Punch round. I mean, they've got the Operator with them still, so we're looking at match point, and Final Form are going to have, what, seven rounds of match point? It's going to be so difficult to claw back into this one. Yeah, Chell's popping this blade storm and falling close behind this sky. I've seen really beautiful combinations of like sky and KO plus jet. And if you're working with an initiator that just knows how to flash for you, you can do some amazing things. And at least using that trailblazer to make sure that this site is free helps get Chell's into maybe a little bit too far onto the map as Hollywood's able to clean that one up. The Hunter's Fury coming out from KDO also stalling that plant for a little bit there as the rest of the defensive side starts to gather around this A site, cleaning up now two kills with Suarte. Was it looking to be in a rough situation there, spotting out Sophia in hell, but thankfully Hollywood is there to back Suarte up, and it's going to be another flawless round for aim punch that bring them onto match point. Anytime I, I see the word Hollywood, I like hear Eminem in my head going Hollywood, and I don't know why. <laughs> um, but you know what? In that, in, in some of these rounds, I could understand why people would want to be screaming their name. They have been so solid. Twenty-three and eight. What an incredible player! What an incredible asset yeah. to this team. And now with that, with aim punch on match point, still have that blade storm, you know, backup plan still available. Final form have popped Twitter Force just to add to their little bit that they have available. Play, let's, let's see, this is it. Do or die. Everything on the line here. Winner goes through. Loser is well. Loser puts us onto map three, theoretically. <laughs> All right, starting off with these Seekers, trying to get some information about where the defensive side is. But once again, it looks like KDO, the one on site, but is clean to hang out just in that smoke and wait for the rest of the defenders to do a retake. This is one of the hardest sites to retake on this map. So at least Final Form being in a 5v5 situation is set up for a little bit of success here to start it off. Owl Drone is going to reveal at least where some of the attackers are hanging out. And Sophia is able to get that kill onto Kadio from that heaven side, but gets a little trade there as well from Sarah Star Hollywood aggressing onto the site picking up too you just can't let that happen but they are able to clean up 
the members of Aim Punch who try to funnel into that that site. And that's exactly what we need to see Final Form doing. It's just, it's so hard to even see them think about going B or C when A, if they can keep all five remaining, they, see, they can just do something like that where yeah, every nice time Aim Punch, or Aim Punch tries to funnel onto the site, they just don't let them get any wiggle room. And if they can keep doing that, Final Form could be looking pretty good. Six rounds of match point. Oh, dearie me. Can Final Form make it happen? But the attempt there is going to be shut down immediately. Oh, no, but it's one thing versus Gel. Oh. <laughs> That's not the start to the round you wanted. Not at all. And yet again, another ping on the minimap. But the rest of Final Form are on the complete opposite end of the map, at least for the time being. And it looks like they're moving back towards Suarte, which seems like a bold move, IMO. But looks like Blush going to be the first one to start and actually gets the better of Suarte. So that is huge. And losing that operator does mean that Final Form are choosing to commit to this A site once more. Ahead. Video throwing out that recon dart to at least make sure that some information is gathered. Sarah Star, nice. Hunter's Fury gets that kill onto Kadio, who's going for that retreat and tags up Hollywood. So a little bit of damage there onto the defensive side. Does get healed up by that sky, though. So not too worse for wear. Has the camera available, but no other utility and is just peeking out through this heaven side, finds Blush, but Blush gets the shots a little bit faster. Spite with the bob and weave while blinded actually goes down to Kaz and yet another round going Final Forum's way who are clawing their way back into this game. All right, all right, we keep going. We keep this ball moving. I'm very impressed with Final Forum's tenacity here. Again, we're seeing a lot from Chelsea to really try to step up and be what her team needs her to be, right? To keep creating mm -hmm. that necessary space, to keep enabling the rest of the players to kind of show up a little bit more. Let's see if they can keep that pace up. They have forced Aim Punch down onto an Eco, so this should be a fairly easy round to win out. But Aim Punch going for a bit of a loop-de-loop -loop here. Going to be pushing aggressively Ooh. out of B and coming in from behind final oh, four. They weren't able to take out that trademark. So basically every member of Aim Punch is gonna get slowed by that first trademark at least. And now they're all just barreling down onto the site. Gonna be caught out a little bit by that owl drone. But quick movement, Sarah Star does peek around that corner to take out Genuine. Chell's throwing out that Cloudburst to at least block off some of the vision from the defensive side who are trying to come on to this site. Sarah Star, another nice peek around to pick up two kills into this round as Hollywood. You know, take take three. Maybe, maybe Hollywood can make something happen around this corner. Does find that kill onto Sarah Star, but they've got to make a lot happen. That bomb is ticking and it's going so fast that Chell's is retreating off of this heaven side and Suarte is just going to see if she can find a kill and it does not look like it's going to be the case final form eight rounds and slowly but surely being able to get a lot more points into this round where i felt like aim punch was looking just a shoe in to win all of a sudden final form is saying maybe don't count us out just yet <laughs> Uh, uh, Final Form definitely have a lot to say coming into this. They're starting to build up that, e that eco as well. But is it going to make a difference? Again, we've still got four more rounds of match points just to get into overtime. They have been able to string three rounds together. Can they keep up that momentum when there is an Operator and an Odin online mm. here? This is that first shot. That's going to give away the game. That's going to tell them that the off is over towards A. So they're going to start moving over towards C. But C is also heavily guarded. It's Astra and Cypher holding this down. Oh, Seekers come out and it does allow for Chels to do this dash onto site. Bomb is going down a ton of sprays through all of the smokes possible from each of these characters, including the Cyber Cage. Hollywood finds the first kill onto Chels, followed up with Kaz, but Sophia and 
Sarah Star do some nice trades back. KDO kind of final word in that exchange and does mean that final form are two versus three. Make it two versus two as Sarah Star gets a nice kill there onto Genuine. Suarte does have the high ground though. Going through this cloud burst could spell disaster for final form. Aim Punch are going to get the defuse and are going to get the win. They made it a lot closer in the second half, and that round was really great from Aim Punch as well. Once they get back in onto the seaside, that's been, you know, one of their better rounds to retake on, and it was a bit of a surprise to see Final Form actually opting to push into that when they know that it is a rougher position, but they know that this, the, the operas, uh, operator is all the way over on the A site, and they know that B site is, well, very, very difficult to make something work. So they opt for that C, and that C site aim punch has just been so in control round after round. A similar scoreline to what we saw on Ascent. This, of course, being aim punch's map pick, so unsurprising to see them walk away with it. But that also means they walk away with the win, a 2-0 victory. We're going to see them in the semis. Oh, and I'm excited to see what Aim Punch are going to bring there. A great showing from them on both of these maps. But also, I mean, considering how the start of that game went, I thought that Final Form was just going to kind of, for lack of a better word, like kind of just roll over. And then all of a sudden something yeah. just like clicks. Chell's got that ace and the rest of the team was like, oh, we do have a chance in this. And it was beautiful to see that get to be as close of a game as it ended up being between these two. But GG's to final form and very good games to Aim Punch. And congratulations on your dub and your procedure into the rest of this tournament. Any final dissections you want to make about these games before we toss it to a break? Just something that I was saying a little earlier about how, you know, in the previous GCA, in the playoffs, they had lost, both of these teams had lost out to Dart Monkeys, who went on to win out the tournament. So to see them play against each other, they had a chance to come through this one. We know that Dart Monkeys is still in this. So there's a, still a bit of an uphill battle here, even for Aim Punch. But it's nice to see teams get to play other teams more often, so we can really start to get a gauge of what they're capable of. I think that Final Form has a really bright future. I think just start working on a few of those small misplays, we could see them being a bit of a force to be reckoned with. Uh, they're already a force to be reckoned with, and we're hoping that their force only gets a stronger, and hopefully some of that force is going to be channeled into Aim Punch, who still have more tournament to go. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We will be back to bring you more Valorant action. Make it last forever. Stop in time.